I like thick books and I cannot lie. You other readers can't deny when a book's on the shelf with a real big spine and all the words in your face you get sprung. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, I have a book haul. Um, I went to my library and it actually had a whole bunch of books that I have had on my list of books that I've wanted. And I got so overwhelmed that I ended up getting 12 books. I can't even hold them all up because they're mostly hardcover because it is the library. I was so shocked my library had all these books. I'm not even telling you. Now, if you want any kind of details on these books, I'll have a blog post down below because I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. So let's First book I have is Maggie Stevotter's The Raven Voice. I've wanted this book for so long. I've heard so many people on BookTube and just in general talk about this book. Bookables. Uh, Poland and Bananas, Christine, and who else? A lot of people. Just a lot of people have talked about this book. And that has made me excited about it. I don't really know what it's about. I've heard it's kind of confusing at first, but I am excited to read it. Next up is a book that I didn't know anything about. It is Firebirds Rising. And it is edited by Sharon November, but it is actually a collection of original sci-fi and fantasy not a uh, story. I think there's 16 in here. Yeah. And it's got like Tamara Pierce has written something for this. I know her. She's the one person that I know <laughs> out that has written something. But this was the cover is really pretty. That's what kind of I know it's kind of reflecting, but that's kind of what got me interested in it. So yeah, I like anthologies too, so that's a good thing really excited about this book and it is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I wanted this for so long and I've wanted to read it. I'm probably, if I like any of these books, I'll go and buy them. But right now I can't. So I got the library. I was surprised to see that they had this. My library is, I live in a rural town. So my library doesn't really have like the newer books. So I was really excited to see The Fifth Wave because I've heard so many good things. And yeah, this is a sci-fi dystopian novel I think with aliens yeah another book that has been going around uh book two a little bit is winger by Andrew Smith and I really like the cover and the back has like a, a cartoon cover um I, I all I know is that this is at a boarding school that is the only thing that I know and that's the only thing that most people that have said anything about this book on YouTube have said so I don't even know why I want to read this but the fact that everyone else wants to read it makes me want to read it and it's just a really cool book I like the spine I like the covers these two books go together and I have wanted these for so long and the third book actually comes out next month I think and it is Cinder and Scarlet both by Marissa Meyer and these are the first and second book in the Lunar Chronicles and the third book Crest I think comes out next month these are like retellings of fairy tales. So this is Cinderella and this is uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And I've heard so many good things. Like, I just, I want to read these. And I've been wanting them forever. And I was so shocked my library had them that I grabbed them. These were the first two books that I actually grabbed when I went to the library. Because I really want to read these books. Like, super, super want to read these books. This is Drink, Slay, Love. And it is by Sarah Beth Durst. Yeah, Sarah Beth Durst. I can't remember where I heard about this book from because I have heard at least one person say something about this book but after reading the synopsis in the back I really kind of want to read it it sounds really interesting it's kind of like a dark comedy or in a way it's a young adult book obviously and it's about a vampire yep a vampire <laughs> duh drinks they love but it looks really cool and I've heard that one person say good things, so I guess that's 13 for me Treasures to by Michelle Harrison. Uh, this is a book and it's about fairies, and that is all that I know because I didn't know anything about this book when I picked it up. I just saw it on the shelf, thought the cover was pretty. It's really sparkly and it's about fairies, and that's enough for me to want to read it. So that's why I picked this one up. I managed to get four adult novels. Uh, the reason I was in the library is because I wanted to get 1984 by George Orwell, but my particular library didn't have it. Another branch of the library did, so I should be getting that book in soon. But I did manage to get four uh, adult novels because 
in my library, it's much easier to browse the young adult and juvenile fiction than it is to browse the adult fiction because so much, so many adult fiction, not enough young adult at my library. So it's easy to go through like the couple of rows of young adult, but not the adult. But I did manage to get four from some authors that I've wanted to read. I'm really, really, really excited about this one. This is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern or Mer Morgan, yeah, Morgenstern. I have wanted this book forever and I've put off reading it because at first, when it first released, nobody talked about it. People were saying it wasn't good, but now it's been out for a while and people are actually saying that it's a really good book. And since I've always been interested in reading it, I was shocked to see that my library had it and I picked it up and I'm excited to get started with this one. I, I want this, this is, I know I'm going to buy this book after I'm done reading this one because I want this book so bad. I got The Killing Dance by Laurel K. Hamilton. This is the sixth book, I think it's the sixth, in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series, which my friends rave about and um, Chapter Stacks here on YouTube mention it as her one of her favorite series and she always come. this author always comes to Dragon Con and my friends that I go to Dragon Con with really, really like this author. Like every year they they go to like her panels and everything like that. So I was like, maybe I'm missing out by not reading the, this series, but my library, this was the earliest novel that my library had, which is number six. So when you go to the library, you get what you can, <laughs> you know, if, if it's a series and they don't have one, you, you have to just be like, okay, I'll get what they have. So this was the earliest one. So I'll probably go back and read one through five if I like this one. Um, I'm not sure if the series is like you have to go in order or something like that, but I, I, I don't care. When it comes to library books, I'll just get what I can. And there's a picture of Laurel K. Hamilton. But so this is uh, The Killing Dance, number six book in the, the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series. Finally, the last two books are from an author that I've wanted to read and a series that I've wanted to read and I don't really know a lot about this series because I randomly saw the book somewhere, the newest book. I don't think I have the newest one. And the library, again, it's a series, so they didn't have one or two. My library never has like the first couple of books of a series, but it is The Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward and I ended up getting Lover Avenged and lover at last um when I read the synopsis they seem like they're standalone novels and like companion novels to each other and it's just like the black dagger brotherhood is like the massive world and all of these books kind of fit in that world at least that's what it sounds like to me I could be completely wrong check out my blog post to see if I'm wrong but there is a J.R. Ward and I I don't know what it is about you know this series and this series uh that I've been interested in they're kind of on the romance side of the adult fiction and I've heard that the Anita Blake goes really erotica in some of its later novels and I think these kind of do too but I wanted to read these so bad and I think one of these has homosexual characters I think it's this one and that really interested me a lot so yeah. so those are all the books that I got from the library I have a challenge this year where I'm trying to read 50 books 50 new books no rereads 50 new books even if I reread something it doesn't count towards that challenge so that's 12 books and that means that I'm well on my way to the 50 uh I hope <laughs> it's a daunting task for me so I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye